and welcome back to So What If I So. I'm Jess, and today I have a very special guest with me, Adam, my Hello. lovely boyfriend, who is joining us for a Christmas themed sew along today. Um, this is my channel, as always, about sewing, dressmaking, and all things stitch related. And today we are also taking a little step outside of my general dressmaking comfort zone, and we are going to make ourselves some stockings. Now, this year, Christmas is a little bit special because it's our first Christmas, just the two of us, because uh, we were going to make the long and, frankly, arduous voyage to my parents in Orkney. However, Boris, Covid, travel bans, you name it really, that's not possible. So we are very excited to be spending Christmas, just the two of us. And that means some traditions for ourselves and um, some exciting stuff. So we're going to make our own stockings. Now, full disclosure, um, Adam's mum is adorable and they get stockings, they're like adult and they get little alcohol and stuff, it's really cute. Um, I've not had a stocking since I was like 12 and bless her, Adam's mum has done one for both of us, adorable. But we're going to do them for each other, which I'm slightly trepidatious about. Uh, it's going to be great fun, but I've never done a stocking for anybody. Uh, let me know in the comments below if this year you're finding yourself doing stockings for people who you're like, I have never done this, oh my god. So <laughs> let us know. Now, let me tell you quickly what we're going to be using today. So. Full disclosure again, I'm not using a pattern or instructions. Um, I found some fabric quantities online to make stockings for, so we bought the correct amount of fabric. He's now looking at me like, what? I thought there were instructions. <laughs> it's just a sock, really. <laughs> um, so we're going to draw our own pattern. And we're going to do that literally using A4 paper, tape it together, and we can cut out our own pattern. The beauty of this is we can, you know, do it ourselves. It's a fun extra step and we can make sure we can draw on our seam allowances and everything like that and it's kind of fun. To make them, we are going to be using some lovely quilting cotton from myfabrics.co.uk. This is my first purchase for them and I'm very excited. So, um, we are both using the same outside fabric which is this lovely green tree fabric. Um, it's kind of like a dark teal green, it's lovely and it's got a lot of structure. Like it's, even though it's quite thin, it's very stiff as you can probably see, very little motion. Um, ideal for quilting and stocking making, so this will be our outside. We then need a cuff. The cuff on mine is going to be this lovely white star fabric, which is quite fun. And Adam has got this fun hessian fabric with some Santas and, uh, oh, has it got? No, it's got Santas that look like a polar bear upside down. It's very fun, mm -hmm. yay. Um, and both of us are gonna be using this gray star fabric inside. So mine's quite Scandi, Adam's is very Christmassy and we're gonna have a great time. I think we've also got some felt in the cupboard, so if we wanna put initials on it, we may do that, we'll see how mm. we go. <laughs> but it should be really good fun. Um, are you excited? Yes. Are you nervous? No. Great, this is the <laughs> ideal <laughs> emotional level. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it's just a sock, isn't it? Exactly. I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> so we are gonna be bagging them out, which is quite exciting. Um, I started thinking about this a minute ago, because I was like, how are we going to attach the lining? And then, yeah, so there will be some fun stocking bagging out. He has no idea what that means. He'll find out. It's fine. <laughs> um, Adam is also going to use the sewing machine. And that's the other thing, is we are using polyester sew all thread, so nothing special. And I've put a standard, I think it's an 80 weight needle, so like light to medium, because we are sewing with closing cottons. So it's nice and structured, but it's still not super thick. So we do want to make sure that we're not like pulling the fabric too much or ripping it too much. Um, if we do decide to do the felt, then I will put a much heavier, I might put a denim needle or something on to do the applique, just because we want to make sure everything is nice and secure and is the correct way for what we're using. So, should we get started? Let's do it. Great, let's go. So, step one is that we need some paper. So we each have two pieces of paper. We're going to sellotape them together. Looking at it, we may need another one for more of the sock extension, but we'll see how we go. Um, actually, we might be able to line it up with that edge. So we're gonna sellotape our paper together. We are both stood up, and uh, never in my life or the last four years have I been more aware of our height difference. Possibly ever. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I am not a headrest. Right, let's sellotape our paper together. So there is tape. Oh God, where's the end? There we go. Lovely. So that's mine done. That's stuck to the table now. The table has it. Okay. 
Joys of sellotape, people. This is live. <laughs> there we go. So, we both have our long bits of paper. I feel like we might need a little bit extra, but I think we'll be okay. If not, I have an entire ream of printer paper, so, you know, we'll be fine. That's fine. <laughs> so, let's have a crack at... I'm going to grab a pencil to start with and then there are pens oh no there's coloured pencils pens and pritzed uh, not pritzed well there is pritzed but uh, felt pens all sorts of stuff so grab whichever implement makes you feel most drawing-ish we're going to flip the paper so we're not drawing on the sellotape side mm -hmm. and then we're going to attempt to draw our stockings so we want a nice big curve for the foot because a big curve is much easier to sew and then it's so when you draw a child um shoes as a child i think really and then we're gonna have a big kind of s bend oh no that's too shallow i'll make it quite long so that's mine i'm gonna go over my line a little bit this is quite fun isn't it mm -hmm. not often as an adult you get like colored paper, pencils and stuff out now, on our pattern, our stockings have a cuff. So, once we've got our kind of shape that we're happy with, we are going to draw a line about oh, a couple of inches down for where our cuff will be. So, there we go. That's mine, has got a cuff on it. I'll show you mine. There it is, enormous red, very messy. Uh, I've got a very big foot on mine because I anticipate curve sewing. It's going to be interesting. Now, the next step, Adam will show you his. Very beautiful. Very, very, you know, it looks like a welly for somebody with no toes, which I think is probably how stockings are meant to look. Right? Yeah, I like it. Mine's mostly foot. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next thing we have to do is make sure, now, on the actual fabric, for example, our toes go to the end, but on the fabric we can just add the curve. We're going to draw another line around it about a centimetre and a half away. Or actually, let's let's just do a centimetre because then we can do a centimetre seam allowance on the machine and that is fine. So I'm going to grab a felt tip and go around mine at about a centimetre. So there is a ruler if we would like one. I'm going to do little dots. Oh, Adam has a ruler too. Sorry, I should have said bring a ruler. So we're going to build in our seam allowance. This is something I did not learn. Like when I first started sewing, I'd try and draft things like, why have they gone so horribly wrong? This is why. Because this is what happens. So there we go. Our centimetre. And now Adam can use the ruler. That's all right. Let me just do my curve and then the ruler is all yours. And I know there's lots of people watching me like, why don't you have two rulers? And the answer is because this very rarely happens. <laughs> there is. We have a tape measure actually, I just thought. Yeah, but we do have two rulers, never mind. Yeah, we don't have them to hand. Yeah. So, there we go, right. Ruler is yours. Okay. So I'm going to draw that line. I'm going to do mine. Fairly roughly, I know roughly what a centimetre looks like. So, um, mine goes right off the edge of the page here. So, um, I'm just going to sort of do it by eye on the fabric, really. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to line the fabric up with the edge from a centimetre, so I'll automatically have it on the long side. That's what I'm going to do. Genius over here. So, there we go. Fab. And what we're going to do is draw either side of our cuff line so i'll show you while i'm doing this either side of our cuff line we're going to draw a little one centimeter this way and this way because when we cut the cuff we want a one centimeter on the cuff piece and we want the one centimeter on this piece so that we can join them and then the inside will be exactly the right length so we'll just do that quickly that's about the centimeter there yeah you do it too don't i'll explain in a minute 
So you just want to make sure your cuff line also has a centimetre basically for seam allowances. So the seam allowance for anyone who does not know, you know what a seam allowance is, right? Mm -hmm. It's the bit that you lose when you stitch it, basically. That's the kind of the nub of the gist, as it were. Because you can't just stitch it together on the edges. And the kind of standard is 1.5, but one is easier for what we're doing today. There we go. I know you guys are loving watching two grown adults do this. It's very enjoyable. There we go. Fabulous. So our next step, which we're going to do on a time lapse because it, it'll take a while, is we're going to cut all of our fabric out. And we're going to, so we're going to have to cut out, I'll explain to you guys, we're cutting out three sets of pieces, so actually six pieces. Um, so we're cutting two of the lining, which we'll sew together, uh, two of the lower half outside, and two of the cuff. And then we can flip, attach, and when we sew it, I'm going to put a little marking on mine. We're going to leave two, three inches, no, probably two, two inches of bottom open. What do I think again? Um, so with the cuff, you want a line. So if you if your line is like there, you want a centimeter either side with a line because basically when we cut the cuff piece, it needs its seam allowance, and when we cut the down piece, it'll also need a seam allowance up so that they overlap to the right measurement, which will all become clear I think when we cut it out. There we go. So here are our lovely stocking patterns. It's now, oh, I love that we've done the opposite feet. That's adorable. That looks intentional, <laughs> and it's not. That's, That's amazing. So, let's cut some fabric out. We have cut out our fabrics. Uh, how was that? How did you find it? Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of moving around it. But... It's definitely like, you, there's so much more moving. That you, you're like, cutting, I'm just going to sit and do it. No, you clamber. <laughs> cutting is all about clambering. Um, Adam did also have the really long dressmaking scissors, which may not have helped the curves. Um, I had no, the very... No, Sometimes my hands get in the way. Oh, that's good. That's good. I I've, stick yeah. it from far away. <laughs> I did tiny, tiny snips with my grain scissors. Um, and even then, ugh. Mm. Uh, so I have threaded the machine now slightly weird one but uh, come back to a conversation I had a week or two ago about fabric that matches thread may not necessarily match when you sew it so our fabric is here is my outside stocking this green um, and it's got navy blue in it now when I checked the greens I had I've got ones that match it but actually they're too light when you put the thread through it so I'm using a navy blue like a kind of soft navy not fully navy blue that's kind of the same color as these trees and that seems to blend really well so step one that we're both going to do is we're going to sew up well actually yes we're going to sew a cuff onto each outside so we would match them probably should have just put some notches in this but I didn't um, we're going to match them like that, sew it, and then flip it up. And we're going to do that for each side, and then we will reconvene. stockings can I just say Adam is both insanely good at slow sewing which I'm terrible at and also has managed some top pattern matching so if you hold them up to the camera he's got two cute little Santas on top how good is that like 
Oh my god. Meanwhile, the experienced dressmaker over here has upside down trees on her stocking. <laughs> Um, I find a name. Yeah, <laughs> you need to. So we have two halves of our stockings. Now, because Adam has proved to be really quite good at this, um, we're going to do some top stitching. Um, oh not that I didn't think he would be, but even I'm crap at top stitching, so this could be interesting. Uh, so we're going to top stitch. So what we've done is we've um, ironed the seams down, and then we're just going to do a tiny bit of top stitching along here. I'll make the thread length longer just to make it look a bit pretty. So we're going to do that, and then the next stage is to create a whole sock. So we're gonna create, we're gonna sew all the way around. Obviously not across the top, that would be really silly. And then we're gonna do something fancy with the lining. So, you ready for some top stitching? Why not, let's get real. Also, we just ironed these and Adam just admitted that that's the first time he's ever used the iron in our house, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> I did buy it for sewing as well, so it's, it's fair enough, it's a sewing <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell your mother, it's fine. two lovely inside out stockings. We both realised we might need to shave a lot of our arms off to get into them, but you know, let's have a go, let's have a go. I can get, I can get that far down. Uh, <laughs> my I can. A problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can get even less far and I'm smaller than you. Um, oh god. Yeah, <laughs> rude. Yeah, they do kind of look like... Put eyes on them. Yeah, you could, they make great sock puppets. They look, they look like dinosaurs, look at them. Because my forearms are always I can. I can Don't get right into here. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> It's alright, your feet can go in it if you lose most of your calf muscle and toes. My feet could probably go brand in Brand new ankles, right? Yeah, brand new improved <laughs> compressed foot. It's more like a, what are they called? Pirates have them. Stumps. Just yeah. Peg leg. <laughs> Peg leg, that's it. Right, so our next job is we need to clip some curves. Choose your scissors. The bird ones. Use the tiny bird ones. Fun fact for anyone, obviously everyone knows these as embroidery scissors. I cut Adam's hair with those in the first lockdown mm -hmm. until we got some decent hair cutting scissors. Mm -hmm. Tiny, Aww. it took so long. Very good of you though. <laughs> it's okay, they're the sharpest scissors we have and that's really what we want. So, when we cut curves, the two things we want to do um, is we want to cut into curves and we want to cut, like, we want to cut into, oh, I need maths words, concave curves. We, we, uh, we want to cut little lumps out of convex curves. So, let me demo. Adam's looking at me like I'm mental. So this is a concave curve, right? Mm -hmm. It goes in. So, to make, if you imagine a straight, making a straight line fit a circle, mm -hmm. there's bits in the way, right? Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is cut out as close as we feel comfortable, but not to, like, we're not cutting the stitching, but as close as possible, we're going to cut tiny triangles out of this bit. Okay? Not too many, just two or three. One of mine's pretty close. <laughs> then that's, that's, that's easier, actually. You have to cut a lot less out. You can even just do a tiny snip. You don't even have to fully cut the triangle up. So we're just going to cut. It only needs to be in that little ankle area of the kind of sock shape. There we go. Lovely. And we're going to do this just so that when we turn it through, we're going to do it on the lining as well. And when we turn it through, it'll have a much, much smoother shape, which is kind of the dream. That's what we want, isn't it? There we go. We're going to show you our lovely cut curves. There they are, in the little ankle area. Hey, beautiful. Now we're going to do the opposite, well, sort of the opposite, on the outer curve here. We're going to snip. Uh, <laughs> not out triangle. I think they just end up being similar. We're just going to cut little, um, like this, just little slits, like that, to allow the fabric to stretch around the curve. 
yeah, around the boot curve, I should say. Which isn't something I have to say very often, but hey. First time for everything, etc. Okay, and we're just gonna do it at regular little intervals. All the way around. As close to the stitching as we dare without actually cutting the stitching. All the way around. Lovely. And then we're also going to do it at the heel, same thing. And if we would like to, we can reduce some of the bulk in the seams by just trimming a little bit, which I'm going to do. I think it's going to be a close run thing getting the lining in here. So I'm just going to trim my lining down a wee bit. Sorry, my outer sock down a bit. Let me just cut a tiny bit off the. Um... So, yeah, start here and just trim a tiny bit up to don't trim yours because this frays like anything. But um, see how it kind of dips in here and goes out? Mm -hmm. You just try and trim a little bit off so it's a little bit closer to the stitching. It means when we turn it through, it won't be bulky. So, obviously, we've got a full lining to go in these yet. And we need room for them. Where do we sit the lining? We're about to. So, the next step is for us to sew our inner linings together. So, it'll be exactly the same as we did with this one. We'll just right size together, sew it, and then there's going to be an interesting bit. In the lining, we're going to remember to leave that gap that we talked about in the pattern at the bottom in the foot. Remember, we marked like a little three inch oh, yeah. gap. So, we've just got to make sure when we sew this that we leave that gap. Mm -hmm very important. So let's get some sewing done. are so we have an inside stocking and what we've just quickly done there is we've trimmed down our seam allowances hugely done the same clipped into our curves now this promises to be very very readable this promises Thank to be you. interesting we're going to pull this the right way out we're going to turn it out pop your hand in and try and kind of shuffle it out as much as possible so we're really going to push into those curves make the fabric obey the lovely snips that we did. This is our first sight of our stockings right way out. Excellent. I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Mine's got a bit of a square heel but that's okay. Nope. Oh, there we go. How's yours? So good. Do you want me to put my tiny arms in? Are you good? Let's put it down to my hand. I'm gonna make sure we pull out these these curves, flatten them. Very lovely. It's one bit I'm gonna pull, so I'm gonna be that person. Okay. Lovely. So here are our stockings, right way out. Oh my god! If we hold them up together, they're like adorable boots. Mm -hmm. Those are close size. Yeah, they actually are hilarious things. <laughs> uh, so the next job, which you may not enjoy, mm -hmm. is we need to be very, very, very carefully put this inside here. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, but we need to make sure they don't get at all twisted. It's very, very important they're not twisted. What, what do you mean by twisted? As in, if we were to put it like that and then the top were to end up like that, we need to make sure it goes straight in like a shadow inside here. Okay. Because what we've done on the lining is we've left a hole for bagging out purposes. So, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to put my hand inside this one. Other way around, I. This needs to be on the inside. Oh, that's going to be tricky. So, that stays that way out. Yeah, exactly. That's why this is not a good step. And this goes in here. I know. <laughs> this is already proving quite tricky, and I'm only like a third of the way in. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Lovely. 
can't possibly be twisted, they're both literally on my hand. Alright, there we go. I'm going to put it up to the top. Then, once the stocking is inside... <laughs> Sorry, it shouldn't giggle. Can I help you? <laughs> you look like you're trying to birth something. <laughs> <laughs> it may also take me 24 hours <laughs> you're in stocking labour right uh, if you write down the time that I <laughs> create this stocking <laughs> we'll weigh it yeah okay, we can weigh it give it a name I mean you should be naming it anyway it's a, quite the creation I make you my mid sock wife <laughs> sock wife maybe <laughs> You could also pull it a little, hang on. I've got, I've got the end. Right, let's try and get your arm out now. <laughs> giving your arm should be fine. It's giving your arm out of the way that the... Right, flat, flat, flat. And then we're gonna line up the seams at the top. So let's line them up. Make sure there's no exposed threads in between the layers. Then we're going to pin our lovely pin apple. So this is our last stage. So basically, uh, some of you will be watching this going, I know what's going to happen. Some of you will be like, what on earth are you doing? I'm going to, well we, are going to bag this out. So, we've left our gap at the bottom so that when I pull it through, I'm gonna end up with two socks stretching either direction and then we're just gonna push the gray one down inside the green one. But we've gotta do it like this. I'll take the arm off my sewing machine so that we can do this properly. But it promises to be interesting. Uh, Adam's gonna have a very limited seam allowance because he doesn't wanna chop the head off his Santa. Now, I'm gonna suggest that as this is lining, that what you do is be a bit cheeky and we're going to ruche it down a little in the middle so that these line up at the top because it's more important they line up at the top and then if your lining doesn't get spot down, it's not a problem. So, pull it down a little bit down here. Pull it down a little bit. I'll mean, I mean, I just do a little bit. Just a tiny bit, just make sure you won't sew over a lump. So it's flat where you're going to sew. Okay. Oh, I'm actually quite nervous about this step because this is sort of the... Uh, the only, yeah, it's the only bit that I'm like, will this work? I hope this will work. It should work. But I don't know if anyone else gets this when you've been looking at like bagging out and stuff like that for so long that you suddenly go, am I going insane or is that actually, is that right? Is that going to work? So, fingers crossed. Oh, that's fine. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, look. Yeah, that's fine. That's your mind. Just wiggle it down. So, we're going to bag it out on camera because bagging out always looks hilarious. And then we've got a tiny, tiny bit of hand stitching or machine stitching, depending on how accessible it is, uh, to do before we finish off. Ready? Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. So, we want to pin them like this so we can get in the middle. Sorry, I was not clear about that at all. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me, guys. <laughs> I'd love to know, by the way, in the comments below, if anyone's done this when they're teaching other people to sew and they just forget, like, the language barrier, like, the technique barrier. I had this with a friend of mine who has got my old machine. Cotton, the old cotton ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> the old <laughs> Are you a victim of the cotton ceiling, my love? <laughs> the, the dyed wall or something. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> This is, the, cotton, this, the cotton ceiling could also, this is so funny. The cotton ceiling is now what I'm going to call it for <laughs> when we talk about beginners <laughs> and us forgetting our language barrier. Right, so here we go. Are you ready to do what is going to actually be a slightly tricky bit of sewing? Sure, let's do it. I right, go on. Right, let's have a crack. <laughs> Here we are. Um, I did both because actually these don't fit on the arm of the sewing machine and I didn't think it was fair. Uh, so <laughs> we've now both got two stockings inside each other. Now, very carefully, we're going to go in through the hole at the bottom. 
I'm going to very gently pull the stocking out. I'm going to pull it out in one long line. There we go. So we have a sort of eternity sock going on. Be very gentle with it and just let it take its, its time as it were. Now, here is the slightly more challenging bit. So, have we got our eternity socks? This is a new term that I'm coining. Hey, your Santa is still there. You missed a bit of hat, but pretty good. That's fine. There That's we go. Lantern. Oh, it's cute. I love it. Right. So, we both got eternity socks. Hey. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to push the grey bit down inside this one. Oh, actually, no, we need to stitch it closed first. Uh, would you like to hand sew it or do it on the machine? Uh, yeah, it'll take two seconds. Right, one second. Well done. We have now pushed the sock down inside, and here we are. There we go, lovely. So we've got our lining. Yay, hey, look at that, lined stockings. We're getting exciting over here. Um, I love yours. I think Thank your you. Santa is adorable. Like, look at that. It's so cute. Hey, that is like that's super impressive. It's a dream. Mine's got little stars that sort of match my trees. I cannot believe my trees are upside down, but hey, I, this has already got a lot of sentimental value for me. <laughs> I've loved doing this. This has been super fun. So we need to give these a quick press and just generally fiddle about with them a bit more to press the curves out inside and you know all, all those sort of bits. But and then we will be and we'll be done. So here we are, freshly ironed and done. Uh, how do you feel? Good. You enjoy it? Yeah. How did you find good. sewing? Yeah, it was alright. <laughs> Probably to the end, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm so glad. <laughs> got some good narrow presents down here. Yeah, we got some very narrow <laughs> presents. This will, you know, uh, mm. curve What I should have done is bowling. sewn them with a present in the boot already. <laughs> and then couldn't get out. <laughs> We have had really a hard. great time, I think it's yeah, safe to say. It's, it's been really nice to share Thank you. my hobby. Matching. They are. I love that we've done the opposite feet. I think that is absolutely adorable. Like so. can walk. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been so nice to share my hobby with you. And thank you very much for agreeing yeah, to I do like this. Yeah. <laughs> well, Adam's normally sat in the background of all my vlogs, of uh, gaming and I'm often trying to, I spend so much time editing you out in the background of my time lapses. It's so much time <laughs> editing you out. <laughs> so I love you. You're wonderful. You. And Merry Christmas to everyone. We understand after the most recent announcement that Christmas may not be as merry for lots of people, but we hope you still have a wonderful time. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Play stocking full time. Absolutely. <laughs> it's going to be fab. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share, and they should also subscribe, right? Yes. Subscribing is Subscribing important. Is I'm important. pretty great. Um, <laughs> and we will see you, well, I will see you, Adam will see you from the background uh, next time. Thank you so much for watching, and Merry Christmas, guys. Bye.